Welcome back. Let's talk about food and eye health. Let's talk about diet and myopia. Let's talk about the connection, whether there is any, between what you eat and how well your eyes work for distance vision. Now, the reason for this, for this particular post, which is gonna kind of be a rant potentially, is Mark from Mark's Daily Apple, who is, who's a friend of the blog, I would say. He's featured us on his side before. Uh, if you don't know Mark and Mark's Daily Apple, um, I'll try to remember to link that below. Big site, it's all about the whole paleo eating and has some, some good ideas there. Uh, he posted on Twitter the other day and I saw it because one of my readers and Twitter followers responded to his Twitter thing and whatever, Twitter stuff. But, so he posts a study on Twitter linking myopia and phytochemicals in food. Now, where do we even start? Where do we even... I'll read you a bit of the study first and I'll link it below and, and check this out. The title, a phytochemical rich diet may explain the absence of age-related decline in visual acuity of Amazonian hunter-gatherers in Ecuador. Now, man, when I even read a title like that, I'm already immediately irritated. You know why? Because hunter-gatherer tribe in Ecuador and phytochemicals, you know, you know, maybe you don't know, but, but you'll know in a moment that it's going to be some bullshit because there is a huge Western fascination with, with miraculous cures in hunter-gatherer tribes in remote jungles somewhere. Like some kind of food that we're missing magically and somehow would cure all our problems. This is, a, this is an incredibly popular thing that, that pervades all kinds of health topics in the West. And if I wanted to make money, if this was about money, then I would be selling some kind of hunter-gatherer food thing for eyesight because that's what people want. If I wanted to get like a huge social media following and shares and like people getting excited, I would do exactly this whole ooh, magical fruit thing because people love it. You know why they love it? You have to take no responsibility. There's no personal responsibility because it's, oh, it's the food's fault. Aww. And you don't have to do any work to fix the problem. No personal responsibility, nothing to do to fix the problem. It's horse shit. And I kind of have a problem with people like Mark reposting things like this because they have a big following and they play in this health arena. So I feel like Maybe they should have some kind of responsibility of checking out some of these claims before they repost them under their name. I don't know. Let's look at some a little bit more of a study and I'll link it below if you want to read the whole thing. So first in the title, they're talking about the absence of age-related decline in visual acuity. Age-related decline in visual acuity is not myopia. Now, the first sentence of the abstract says, Myopia is absent in undisturbed hunter-gatherers, but ubiquitous in modern populations. Myopia is not age-related. It isn't, right? Nobody will claim that myopia is age-related. Presbyopia is. It's, it's completely different from myopia. So if you read the title and the first sentence of this study, you already know it is complete horseshit because they're talking about age-related decline in visual acuity, which is called presbyopia, and then in the first sentence they talk about myopia. They're, they have no effing clue what they're talking about. And it goes on and on and on. And the last sentence of the abstract, our results suggest that intake of a wider variety of plant food supplying necessary phytochemicals for eye health may help maintain visual acuity and prevent degenerative eye conditions as humans age. Myopia is not age-related. Myopia is not an illness. Myopia is not degenerative. It's none of those things. It's none of those things. So why does Mark repost a study that if you, if you know even the very basic thing, like what happens age-related with your eyesight? When you turn 40, 50, 60, 70, do you become myopic? You don't. It's 
by definition, presbyopia. So if you even take a one minute to look at what condition they're even talking about, you would already see that the study is complete nonsense. And, and all of these diet and myopia studies are complete nonsense, freaking all of them. But my problem with this is a large following, it sees this stuff and people regurgitating things without taking one second to fact check them. I, I really, I don't know how you feel about this. I mean, like there was this whole thing about does going outside reduce the onset of myopia in children that was circulating a while back. And a bunch of journalists, bloggers really, because what are these people these days, are just reposting it, right? And are reposting nonsense that they're not fact checking, e even in the tiniest little bit, as this study, study, for example, shows. And now you've got guys like Mark who, huge following, right? Huge, huge, huge following. And a lot of people read his stuff and trust his opinion, doesn't fact check before posting things that affect a lot of people, right? Or am I just, or am I just getting too cranky too easily? Tell me what you think. Post in the comments below. And I'll also link the Twitter thing. So if you want, you can comment on Mark's original Twitter thing. But if you do, please be respectful. And remember that it goes a lot further to be informative and kind than to be combative. So please don't. Don't be negative in any way if you do post something on his Twitter thing, um, which may be cool though, because maybe it'll spawn a little bit of conversation and maybe a little bit of a more educated perspective, maybe. So that's a possibility if you have Twitter and if you have a minute, but please be nice, right? Like super important to be nice. And, and let me know in the comments below what you think. Is it irresponsible by people that are viewed as health gurus by a large group to be posting things that they don't fact check? Do you think that's wrong? Do you think there's a personal responsibility to only post things that they themselves at least checked out a little bit and found credible? Let me know in the comments, let me know what you think. And if you want comment on Mark's Twitter thing and I will see you on the next one. Und gebeugte Gestalt Zwar die Hände in den Taschen, doch die Fäuste geballt Ist schon hässlich zu sehen, was das euch das Geld macht Darum werfe ich den Stein in den Spiegel der Gesellschaft Was geben wir her für unseren Platz im System? Vielleicht die Nacht unseres Lebens und auf Schatzsuche gehen Für mich liegt das Glück im Moment und das war's nicht in Frau und dann Kind und dann Haus und dann Sarg Kein Plan, was ich will, ich weiß nur, dass es das nicht ist Doch ey, no front, Hakuna Matata, tschüss Ich glaub, kein Lebenslauf zeigt, wie es dir geht und untermauer meine Theorie mit Realität.